Hi everyone and welcome to the Wish Doctor's Guide to ServiceNow. Today I'm just going to show you a quick video responding to a question on the ServiceNow community, which basically asks how can I create multiple records in multiple tables through a record producer. Uh, and my solution for this is using the flow, which I love if you haven't seen me in the other videos. So let's get right to it. So what have I done? So basically to show it, I am just using the out of the box record producer called Create Incident. Let me just show you, I'm just going to move some stuff, there we go. So we have a record producer called Create Incident. And what I have done for this case, just to show you how we could do it, is add another variable called Create Task, which is just a basic checkbox. So it looks like this. So if I check that checkbox, I also would like to create uh, an incident task and connect that to the incident that the record producer is creating. Uh, and by doing that, I'm also using this table. Some people might not know that it exists, but there is actually an out of the box table that keep track of all records that has been created through a record producer. So here you can see, I did a test earlier and created this incident through this record producer and here you can see some of the other demo data for that. A really good table to use to see if something has been created through a record producer. For example, if you look at the incident uh, record, you have no field there indicating that it has been created through uh, a record producer, which sometimes you like to do more stuff than if you create it through a normal, just create new incident. So let's take a look at the flow. I basically just create a new flow on incident created. So when the record producer creates the incident, I want this one to trigger. You can of course set up more conditions and so on, but just for a demo, I just create an incident, trigger is flow. So right now I can't really come up with a good way as a condition up here where we can actually see is it created through record producer or not. So I, I need to do that the first thing I do. So I'm taking advantage of the table I just showed you. So I do a lookup in that table and I know that the producer field should be this uh, record producer and the task field should of course be the incident that's being created. Just like you can see here, the producer is create incident and the task field is this one. I can of course make more like the task type and stuff like that, but it feels like if these two match, I know it's been created through that one. So I also changed that I only need to have one. So if that table gets really big, at least my query will, when we find the record, it won't go through the rest of the records to see if there is a match. Uh, if the, the count of the lookup is greater than zero, meaning we have found one. Then I actually take use of the get catalog variable, that is the baseline to fetch variables from um, catalog items from start. Might trick a little bit because it says submitted request. And if I don't have even have instant record right there, I think it even said Let's just trash this and build it from the start, just so you can see. So, if it's been created, let's do that, remove this one as well. Now let's get the variables. So we have to get, uh, what was the name, variables, get catalog variables. And now it says, submitted request, requested item. So sometimes you think, okay, does it work with the incident? Well, the incident has variables as well, or can have. So we can actually pull it, and you can see that after I saved, it actually didn't say requested item anymore. So it's this record, and the template is the record producer is named create incident. And there you see, there are the variables. We're only interested in the create task. So if that field is checked, we want to create the incident task. Oh. So if 
the, the check box. I just write it through. So if that's true, let's create the instant task. So create task and incident task. We'll link them together and we'll take the incident field and that value should be in there and I'll just add a short description. Uh, create the true flow. Done. So this is basically what you the only thing you need to do. So just hit save. I'll hit activate. I guess it just needed to click and activate. I don't know. I'm just double securing myself to have both save and activate. So there we go. And uh, let's go to our catalog item. Create task is checked. Uh, for YouTube and submit and we'll get to the, the instance so now you can see I have the self-service view if I switch view to default since it doesn't have the related list and if I scroll down you can see it actually created two because I have another one I just showed a colleague how to use the the transform functionality on the data pills but here is the test that I created through my flow so this is how you can do it if you would like to have a record producer creating multiple records through one record producer so that's it uh, thank you for watching and see you soon